The Duffer brothers have put Max Mayfield through hell in the last season, but her character is finally on the verge of revival in Stranger Things 5. Initially, the Duffer brothers decided that they'll end Max's life by the end of the fourth season, but as the show progressed, they decided to leave it as a cliffhanger. But now, fans are curious to know if Max will ever come out of her coma. Max has been an absolute fan favourite since season two of the show, and it was tragic to see her go through so much. The creators didn't just want the characters to win every single time. Matt Duffer described this as, they were gonna lose, they were gonna introduce Vecna, and that they were gonna lose to him. Mm -hmm. That would be setting our characters up for what is going to be the ultimate final confrontation. But if the Duffer brothers didn't end Max's life permanently in the last episode, it means that they had something in mind for the character. So Max will surely have a very important role in the new season. Not only this, but a lot of fans even think that Vecna has taken over Max's mind. This is because when Elle was trying to find Max in the void after her coma, she couldn't find her at all. It was almost like her mind was completely empty and Elle didn't feel anything inside her void. This is because Max wasn't there at all. When Elle saved her by bringing her back to life, she was only successful in saving her body, while her soul got stuck with Vecna. And in season 5, Max will come back to her consciousness, only to work as a pawn to Vecna. Max will be the key to ending Vecna, but only if she decides to side with Elle and the party. Or else Vecna will have complete control over Max and it will be chaotic for everyone. We also saw Max having so much childhood trauma and eventually losing her brother. That's also the reason why Vecna chose her to be sacrificed, because she found herself guilty. So her mental health wasn't in the best condition and it will give a chance to Vecna to dominate her and make her a pawn in his game. We've previously seen Vecna completely take over Billy's mind and he'll do the same with Max in the fifth season. And in the end, it will all come down to Will and Max because they both will either be used by Vecna or against him. According to the Duffer brothers, Max has gone brain dead and completely blind, which indicates that there's very little chance of her waking up in her complete senses in the fifth season. Although we could see Max being controlled by someone else. But there's one theory that talks about the letters that Max wrote to everyone, including Billy in the fourth chapter of the last season. Although these letters seem pretty important, we never really got to know what Max wrote in them, and she even asked everyone not to open them yet. So this theory suggests the letters contain clues that could bring Max back to life. Max might have written these letters just because she didn't want Vecna to know what they were all up to. Max could have obviously talked to them about her feelings, but she chose to write letters to each one of them. And it just tells us that she had something very important to say to them and that she didn't want Vecna to know. We should also realise that it was the first time that Elle brought anyone back to life. It means she doesn't really know the consequences of using this level of power on someone. In fact, it could completely backfire from this point. The Duffer brothers could give a really dark turn to this show. Imagine that when Max will finally wake up in the fifth season, she'll be a completely different person because when Elle resurrected her, the darker side of her soul dominated and came to life. And because Elle was never seen in the dark side of Max, she was unable to see her in the void. Not only this, but season five can also take an entire new turn for Max because it's also possible that Elle didn't just bring Max back to life, but she simply reversed her clock to a few minutes. It means Max went back into the state of trance, the state after which Vecna ended her life. So Max might not essentially be in a coma, but still in control of Vecna, and he could come back to take her at any moment. But as a matter of fact, he doesn't really need to take Max's life anymore because for the brief moment in which Max lost her life, Vecna managed to open the gates to the Upside Down. If Max is still in a state of trance, she won't be able to catch up with Elle and the party in the fifth season until they find a solution to locate Max in her subconscious and free her from Vecna's curse. Besides, Max seemed to have lost her eyes after Vecna put his fingers in them, so when Max will finally wake up, there's a chance that she won't be able to see anything. In fact, she would probably start having visions of different sorts and would even be able to locate Vecna because she now is connected to him in some way. Her power could also be because Elle resurrected her, so a part of Elle's power could be present in her and we could see a superhuman Max in the fifth season. Also, Max has escaped Vecna's curse twice. She actually saw Vecna, came close to losing her life and still survived it, so it surely means that Max will know the weaknesses of Vecna by now. She will help take down Vecna, but it will only be possible when Elle manages to find where Max actually is because till now, Elle has found nothing but void in Max's mind. Some people are suggesting that Max's soul is in Vecna because when he attacks someone, he consumes their soul too. In fact, when number one ended the 
life of all the children in the lab, he told Elle that all of them are with him. It means that every single person who loses his life in the hands of Vecna stays with him, and he lives their memories. Oh, on a side note, if Max has actually lost both of her eyes, this could be where Callie could be helpful. You remember Callie, right? She was Elle's sister from the lab, and a lot of people were saying that the storyline of Callie was an absolute train wreck, because the writers didn't utilize it at all. But as Callie could make people see things, she could also bring Max's vision back. Although her powers aren't that potent, if she manages to find her trigger and try a little harder like Elle did, she could really help Max finally see the world. Not only this, but Callie will also be a good tool in trying to confuse Vecna while the group continues their plotting. There's another completely wide thing that could take place in the fifth season, which is Max being Cass. Since Eddie lost his life in the last episode, people have been saying that Eddie will come back as Cass, but no one really thought that Max could also be a pawn to Vecna and will be the perfect fit for Cass. If you're confused, Cass is actually a vampire in D&D who is a pawn and a soldier to Vecna, but eventually betrays him. And as Max could very much be in control of Vecna by the start of season 5, she could play Cass. But eventually, the group will find a solution and will take Max on their team and she'll end up betraying Vecna. Although we still hope it's Eddie who comes back as Cass. Moreover, Max has seen too much trauma in such a short time that she has become mentally unbreakable. So even if her consciousness is locked up inside Vecna, she'll continue to strive and end Vecna. Firstly, she'll get to know Vecna from the inside, see all of his memories, even the bad parts, and then she'll use all this information to bring him down. Vecna does the same with all of his victims as he consumes their memories, makes them feel guilty and feeds over their guilt and then ends their life. So it would be ironic to see Max doing the same to him. Also, if Max indeed will be inside Vecna, then Elle will have to fight her own best friend in order to save the world. And at one point, she might even have to take Max's life. And if that happens, the show will take a very dark turn. We know by now that Vecna lives inside his victims in one way or another, because Will always feels his presence. So, even if Max gets her consciousness back, they won't be able to completely end Vecna. For that, Max will also have to sacrifice herself, and this will be a very heroic move. Someone from the lead is bound to lose his life in the last season, and it will be heartbreaking. But reports are that it will be Max, as she'll take down Vecna by sacrificing herself. But this doesn't have to happen if the group finds a better solution. Ross Duffer also talked about it in an interview, saying, and we don't know if Max is going to be okay or, or, or have what, eyeballs. Or what's, yeah, we don't, we don't, we don't really know. I think, and we wanted to leave it a little bit up and up in the air moving forward into season five. He also added that Max being in a coma was really important to the storyline, and it's going to have a major impact on how season five progresses. So all fingers point to Vecna taking over Max's body and ending L. But the Duffer brothers are still very reluctant to get into any kind of detail. Huh. So Max's ending is still a little ambiguous, but it's pretty clear that she's going to wake up from the coma in season five and will have a very important role. Not only this, but fans also want her and Lucas to finally have a moment of relief because their relationship has been in absolute chaos since Billy lost his life. So if Max comes back, Lucas will also be in the spotlight as he loves Max truly and we even saw him take care of her in the hospital. So what are your thoughts about the fate of Max in the last season of Stranger Things? As always, tell us in the comments section below. Take care, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching.